video is about the banana weevil, Cosmopolitis sordidus. The video will cover the following areas on banana weevil problem, identification, prevention, and control. How to identify the weevil problems in the field. The banana weevil is a key banana production constraint, especially in areas below 1,400 meters altitude. Its attack leads to stunted growth, snapping of the banana plant, and tunneling of the larvae in the corm. Total yield losses of over 40% have been reported. The adult weevil is free-living and most often found at the base of the banana plant or near to banana crop residues. The female adult weevil lays eggs in the pseudostem near the collar. The eggs hatch into larvae that tunnel into the corm. This corm damage weakens the plant and reduces the yield. In the weevil life cycle, the larva stage is therefore the most damaging. How can you prevent weevil population buildup? The weevils particularly spread to newly established plantations through the use of infested planting materials. The weevil damage shortens the period over which a banana plantation remains productive. Therefore, it's important to use clean materials such as tissue culture plants, paired suckers, this done by removing all roots and by peeling off the top comb layers to make it clean and free of weevil tunnels. Clean planting materials can also be attained by using insecticide-treated suckers, and this is when a solution of 1.5 milliliters of Durspan to 1 liter of water is used. This method is particularly useful for the treatment of suckers that might have originated from infested plantations. The paired suckers are dipped in a pesticide solution for a period of one hour to destroy any remaining weevil eggs and larva. At planting, pesticides can also be applied direct to the planting hole like Furedan at rate of 60 grams. This helps to reduce weevil attack by natural reinfestation by nearby fields. How you control the weevil? Weevil trapping. Control of the weevil population can be done by splitting pseudostems from the harvested plants. These pseudostem pieces, of about 25 centimeters in length, are cut and laid flat at the base of the plant. They function as a trap and attract weevils, which will hide underneath them. The weevils can then be collected after two to three days. The trapped weevils can be burnt or killed by putting them in an open container and exposing them to direct sunlight for about an hour. Crop Residue Management Always clean your fields by removal of dry leaf sheaths around the base of the plant and by chopping and spreading pseudostem after harvest to remove weevil breeding and hiding places. If you don't chop the pseudostems, then the weevil larvae can feed on them and weevil populations build up quickly. Use of boiling water treated suckers. It is important to use boiling water treated suckers when planting a new banana field. This is when the paired sucker is dipped in boiling water for 30 seconds to kill weevil eggs and larvae. Farmers can estimate the 30 seconds by using a hand clock or phone stop clock. Use of chemicals. Control of weevils can also be achieved through the use of chemicals. These are effective but relatively expensive and environmentally unfriendly. Commonly used chemicals are Dersban and Furedan. Dersban is a contact pesticide which is mixed in water at a ratio of 3 milliliters in 1 liter water and then used to spray around the base of the banana mat and mainly kills the adult weevils. Furadan is a systemic pesticide which is applied around the mat 60 centimeters from the base at a rate of 60 grams per mat. Application should be 2 to 4 times per year depending on the level of infestation. Application is most effective during the rainy season. Always make sure that you wear gloves when handling and using chemicals. We have shown in this video the life cycle of the banana weevil. 
we have illustrated the damage it causes. The banana weevil can be controlled through the use of clean planting material, trapping and use of chemicals.